Hello Lolas, how are you guys doing today? I'm gonna make this video really quick. I just wanted to pop on and show baby Piper and of course baby Aspen in the, in the photograph. But I decided to go ahead and leave, not photograph a video. I'm gonna leave him there for a reason because I wanted to tell you guys um, something that I realized about me recently and it's like everything that I thought in the beginning of collecting has changed and it's constantly changing and one minute I go from one thing to the next thing back to the old thing to something totally different meaning like the my size preference awake babies or sleep babies you know do I like newborn size preemie size toddler size in between sizes you know do I like ball babies rooted babies you know, only thing been kind of consistent. I've never been a huge fan of painted hair babies, but I do like them when they're nicely painted. Um, so I I do like a nicely painted baby hair. Maybe, um, you know, and I do think I want to have at least one with really nicely painted hair in my collection at at, at some point. I did have one or two. Um that I had and I'm talking about the ones that I had actually for myself not the ones that I sent off to be painted but I had um had them um that I bought and I sold over time but anyway um so Piper is my my preemie some people may call her micro preemie she's 15 inches she is the half pint by Marita Winters and then you guys know prototype Aspen is the Aspen Sculpt by Claire Tellum. Both of them are painted um, by me. Uh, Piper is somewhat rooted by me. She's rooted by me, but I really kind of sparsely rooted her really fast in like a couple hours. Just so um, she is sealed though. Um, just so she would have some type of hair. So I didn't have to keep finding hats for her. So um, I, when I first started collecting, I didn't like small babies at all I needed something that I could hold that I felt that I could you know cuddle in my my arms and then I got to a point where I was like okay I had one in silicone and I was like okay and silicone is different so I think I'm okay with it in silicone but then after that I'm gonna move him oh, come on Puka. I love this baby <laughs> yes, booga, booga. Mwah. all right so I don't know where are you gonna lay it. Come on, I'll put you in the other crib. So, um, yeah. So I've realized that okay, well, I look like I do like them in the silicone because silicone feels different, so it gives you a different appeal, you know, type thing. So I, I thought, okay, I like, um, I do like them in silicone. Um, and then I had so many in silicone. I got to a point where it was kind of like. All right, so I'm not really loving the silicone. Hang on, I'm trying to get it where she's good and in the frame. Okay. So I, I'm not gonna say I, I don't, don't like them in the silicone. I'm just gonna say that I got to a point where, hang on babe, I'm trying to make sure the lighting is good, guys. Oh my goodness, this, cause it, I hate when you know that they're dark and you can't really see so anyway so I got to a point where I just really felt like the um even the little ones I after a while like I just feel like I, I want something that I can mostly hold and stuff like that so um but this baby actually believe it or not she gives me Everything that I need, even though she's only 15 inches, um, because of the weight of her, I was trying to show her a little belly button, but oh well. Um, she's cuddly, the weight of her head, you know, holds right. When I pick her up, she's just, she's she's still good. I'll walk around and hold her. So she's, she's actually still good, and I, I've realized that I do actually like them in Reborns. So that has changed. And so it's just like stuff just constantly change. Um, I have the matching gown to this, <laughs> FYI. Um, 
yeah so no I think Gabby Gabby has the matching gown to this then I have one that I have the matching gown to and the, and the matching gown for the baby but anyway but um yeah so it just it's like it always changes like one minute I'm like and then I was like I just absolutely do not like toddlers well I've been craving to have a toddler girl so bad in my collection lately and I don't know where that's coming from. I guess because I've seen a couple of them that I really like. And to be honest, usually with the toddlers, I don't usually like interact with them. They usually just sit. I rarely even dress them or change their clothes. But I just like them to be posed. The only one that I've really like... Um, Cody Bear was one that I, I didn't mind picking up. And... Um, Phoenix, I really like, you know, him and I, I will I will take him to every room with me or whatever. I don't change his clothes that often. He doesn't have to have on something new. It's not about the dressing. Because, see, I hear a lot of collectors say, you know, my, my collector friends be like, well, you know, the toddlers are fun, fun to dress and you have so many options. And I thought, yeah, 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 right? He has the least amount of clothes. I barely care if he's ever changed. He can wear the same thing every day for six months and I'll be still just as in love with him. So it's weird. Then I have certain babies that I do want to change regularly and I want to see them in all different types of outfits. And it's like weird. Like you just don't know. So I am making a effort to never say never. <laughs> just never say never because it just it don't work <laughs> it don't work because it's always something that's gonna change your your mind or turn you into a contradiction or just a flat-out liar <laughs> not a liar but you know at the moment you feel that way and you, you think yeah so I don't know do you guys have a strict size preference and have you like stuck to it like like have you not wavered from that particular size have it been that way since you've been collecting are you looking at other options that you've never thought you would look at like I would love to know um what you guys preference is and stuff um I have so like I'm telling you and then like Lily Grace Lily Grace is a tiny baby but she's a little to me she she's a little more plump so she's more to me like a more full size preemie. That's why I call Piper a um, micro preemie. Now she's not dressed so don't judge her. But I call Piper a micro preemie because to me this one is like a, you know, a preemie that's almost at the newborn stage. Like she's just born just a little earlier in my opinion, than full term. That's that's how I see it with Lily Grace. Um, I don't see her as a micro, micro preemie. And, you know, it's because her little legs are fatter. I don't know, she got like full size feet to me. Her hands and stuff are pretty full size to me in a way. But the micro preemies are just so skinny and petite. They're just, you know, really tiny, tiny limbs and stuff like that so that's so to me they're two different preemies but i don't know guys let me know what you guys think but um funny thing is that she is still fitting like preemie clothes now i think this is this might be up to five pounds i don't know um or it might i think it's just regular preemie but she does fit up to five pounds really nicely both of them do um but they also both can wear a regular preemie so which is nice because I can still shop right out the store without having to know a special order or anything. And I usually like that size. Um, as you guys know, I do have a micro premium silicone baby that I'm going to paint after, you know, I finish up my customs. Um, and I'm not sure. I may keep keep him as planned. I didn't even forgot his name, what his name was. I think it was was something with a J. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forget what it was. Um, 
Linda gave me the name. I know it's been so long and I, I didn't I haven't got a chance to paint him. I forgot the name. But anyway, um, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know um what baby you would like to see next. I'm trying not to keep showing the same babies, but it's kind of hard because I kind of gravitate towards the same ones. And some of them I just don't want to move out of their little spot. So that's that. Thanks guys again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and I will talk to you guys soon.